I came across a resource that shows the most popular and fastest growing open source security projects on GitHub. In this explained video, we're going to look at the top five most popular projects from that very list. And at the end of the video, I'll share the link so they can see all the top 100 projects. Now, before we get started, it's interesting to note that the most commonly used language for these projects by quite a big margin is Python. After that, it's a close race between Go and JavaScript, and finally, C and TypeScript. Now the projects are even broken down by category and the top two are identity and application security. After that, we have cloud security and then network security and finally vulnerability management. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in with the fifth most popular open source security tool, which is called Cilium. Cilium is a cloud security tool that provides secure network connectivity between app services deployed using containers like Docker or Kubernetes. Cilium consists of an agent that's running on all the cluster nodes and servers in your environment. It provides networking, security, and observability, which is a hard word to say, to the workloads running on that node. Node. Workloads can be containerized or running natively on the system. It's really not surprising to see container and Kubernetes projects in the top five because of how many organizations are using containers. The next tool in spot number four is MITM proxy, which stands for man in the middle proxy. If you're familiar with man in the middle attacks, then you probably know where this is going. This is an interactive intercepting HTTP proxy for penetration testers and software developers that's capable of supporting TLS connections. This project also includes a web-based interface called MITM Web and a command line version called MITM Dump, which is just like TCP Dump, but for HTTP. Once installed, we can use it to intercept requests, modify requests, replay requests, etc. So this is essentially a much more portable and simpler version of using the burp or OWASP zap proxy feature. The primary benefit here is how flexible of a tool this is, which means that you can use it for a variety of use cases. And obviously, a lot of people see that value because this project has 31,000 stars. Now, this next one is a tool that I'm sure you've probably heard of if you've ever worked with web applications or anything requiring TLS. OpenSSL is a tool that is and has been massively popular because it's a cryptography and TLS toolkit that you can use to create and manage certificates and encryption of all kinds. So in short, you can think of this as a Swiss army knife for cryptographic tasks, testing, and analysis. Now in the second spot, we have a secrets management tool from HashiCorp called Vault. Vault fits in the identity category because it's a tool for creating and managing secrets, encrypting as a service, and access management. You can use it for API keys, passwords, certificates, tokens, and a whole bunch more. You can even use it to generate dynamic instead of static secrets, which means that you can use it to generate secrets on demand for things like databases or even cloud resources, just to name a couple of examples. Now I made a full video explaining what Vault is and how it works in my explain series. So check that video out if you're interested. Finally, in spot number one, and I don't think too many of us are gonna be surprised by this one, we have the Metasploit framework. Metasploit is an exploitation framework that's used for pen testing and that's maintained by Rapid7 and the open source community. Anyone who has any remote interest in pen testing will have heard of Metasploit because the internet is flooded with tutorials on how to use this framework and for very good reason. It's a super powerful and impressive framework that can do a whole lot. It's so powerful, in fact, that you can even use it to write your very own exploits or use community exploits. And if you're interested in learning more about Metasploits, my recommendation would be to start with their documentation. And then after that, check out YouTube tutorials because there are plenty out there to get you going. Okay, so as promised, here's the entire list of 100 different top projects at opensourcesecurityindex.io. By the way, this list is constantly changing. Even from the time that I found this resource to the time that I recorded this video, two of the top five moved around. So by the time that you watch this, the top five may have changed. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe for more content just like this. And then let me know in the comments below which of these tools you hadn't heard of, but that you're now very interested in learning more about. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.